Last season, NASCAR hosted multiple doubleheader weekends as the series played catch up after the COVID lockdown. COVID made it a unique situation last year, but if we could eliminate that and look at what this would have been without COVID, I think you look at fans come to the track for two days and they see four races. That's pretty awesome. Now you're not camping out Thursday and Friday and just watching practices and not getting to see a race or anything. So I think from a content perspective, it's cool. Now on the team side of things, I would say the person who has it the hardest is actually the crewman. Pocono is the first time we did it. We went in there like at 8 o'clock or something in the morning on Saturday, and we didn't leave there till midnight. And then we had to be back in at 6 o'clock in the morning. I think it was only like four hours of sleep, if that, by the time you looked over your notes and made decisions. It was a hard weekend. While a win for the fans, it's a logistical challenge for the teams. Hence, Pocono at the end of June is the only doubleheader scheduled for this season. There's a couple different challenges. Uh, the, one of them being the pit crew. Our pit crew is also pitting the 98 Xfinity car. So some of these doubleheader weekends, it'll be the third race they'll have. So just having the physical aspect and not getting worn out from the pit crew side is big. The track's going to change through the first race, and, and the things that you need in the car for the second race is going to be different than the first. And then obviously between it, having the car top notch for the second race, having the driver so he's not fatigued and keep him hydrated and everything in the first race. So he'll be well prepared for the second. You finish that first race, ideally you want to try and run the same car. It becomes complex if you got motor issues, body damage, things of that nature, or even the fact that you got to pull out the backup car because a backup car coming out, it isn't race ready, ready to go, like we're not allowed to have a motor and transmission in it. So you gotta already either take the one out of the primary car or put your backup one in. <laughs> no situation is ideal. The only one that's ideal is if you just won the race and you have no damage and your motor's in good shape, it's not so bad. <laughs> SHR had the perfect first race at Pocono with the four car last June, but they didn't win the second. However, they completed the sweep at the Michigan doubleheader six weeks later, proving it can be done. We were fortunate enough to, to have a great race car, um, you know, the first day, and, and also we didn't change a thing going into the second day. Michigan was just one of those that everything went good the whole weekend. Overall, just a, an outstanding weekend and, and a great job by everybody. When you look at being able to do that two days in a row, is, is says a lot about the, the guys working on the car and being able to turn that around and also being brave enough to say, we need to do this better or that better after you just won the race, literally less than 24 hours later. And the evolution that took place over the course of two days was definitely challenging to convince yourself that you needed to do better than you did the first day, but you had to know that everybody was gonna get better the second day and the racetrack was going to be different. So those guys, they do a great job in prepping the car and it makes my job easy. As the teams get set for Pocono, they have the added complication that the tricky triangle is an absolute car wrecker. And just like last year, the crew will have to be at the top of their game all weekend. Pocono, the, the speeds are high, it's a rough surface, so we'll do some spot checks after the first race, and then some of the components will just flat out replace just because of the load and the demands of it. You don't want to take any chances. There's a lot of things that we went through that we had to do in a short period of time that we usually come back to the shop, spend a week getting prepared. Something that I wouldn't want to do every weekend, but you know, once a year, it's a challenge and, and we'll be more prepared for it moving forward. Those two long days drag everybody down a little bit and focus becomes a challenge during the second race because you're exhausted. And so I think it's definitely doable. I don't mind doing them, but man, I won't want to do it every weekend. That would be a, a real taxing deal on everybody, I think. <laughs>